Hi, hi guys. I'm still at uh, Abel Kuta at Hallelujah's farm. I just want to show you a old Modest Den uh, smoking king, which uh, this is what we are using for a very long, long, long time. So now we are using the uh, stainless steel, but this is the old uh, mortar, which is made with red bricks. These are made with red bricks, and that is you can see the shimmer at the back there where uh, the um, uh, the gas is being uh, exploited. So this is it, and this is where the fire is being put in place. And this is the net. Uh, good afternoon, guys. My name is still maybe on the Tolari team. Your uncle Kadu Solution Plays and Academy. You are once again welcome to my YouTube channel. As you are watching now, make sure that you press on the subscription button, as you can see it by your right hand side. And uh, for those of you that uh, can really press on the automated uh, subscription button, which is by the right hand side on your screen as you are watching presently, make sure that you do that now before I proceed with this video. And once again, press on the notification button. The notification button will tell you when I release new videos on this channel. Uh, before I go on, what you are watching on the screen, based on the introduction you just listened to, is what we call the smoking keen. The smoking keen is used to smoke or dry fresh catfish. We call it processing. So these are one of the value chain in catfish uh, farming. But why um, uh, we may want to talk about this kind of a smoking king are the olden days smoking king. Unlike the modern days smoking king that they are using uh, uh, iron, uh, what is the stainless steel and uh, steel in order to fabricate. These smoking king are meant with red bricks. They are done with red bricks and uh, is being plastered with cement. These smoking keen are very, very reliable, but uh, because of uh, the principle of uh, fish exportation, uh, because this, if you are not careful, about using it, it retains smokes, which is not uh, well recommended for imported uh, and uh, hygienic uh, uh, fish as well. So un unless you really understand how to operate it. But the good thing about this smoking kin is that one, it allows your fishes get well dried a little bit controlled because it retains it so by the time you put in your wood or your charcoal uh, and uh, you remove it for almost about eight to six hours six to eight hours this smoking can is still eat and can retain your fishes can be able to remove the moisture of this fresh fish to give you a perfect and a better result so this smoking king i've been using for a long time and it has been helping me and i do as well uh, encourage those of us that really want to go into business to make sure that you practice something like that too as well so once again i am still live here in abiyakuta where i am here for mentorship program on cartridge archery and grow out setting so uh, you've watched the part one part two or part three of this video but this is the part four of this video but i will be using the part four to make to give us some lecture about smoke catfish in the part four of this video let me just highlight a little bit of what you are watching on the screen what you are watching on the screen is a mentoring on how to use your soda bicarbonate in order to correct the pH of your water. That means to balance the pH, the acidity of your water. 
and again how to use your seashell in order to balance your acidity of your water and to add calcium and in order to uh, retain some of the hardiness in, on your, in, your, on your, in your water because one is that hardiness once you are having a water hardiness your water will automatically be alkaline so this a little a little bit can also add more calcium and uh, can help you uh, reduce your hardiness in, in your water so all this i'm trying to explain and i'm trying to bring forth what we brought in order to use uh, in the farm so for my topic today i was i'm saying is a small catfish really profitable in catfish uh, business is a question which i will shed a little light onto it as i said pre uh, previously that small catfish is one of the valuation that we can't uh, even tap into in catfish uh, farming catfish farming have a lot of valuation which small catfish that means processing of catfish is one of them don't get me twisted there are a lot of processing of catfish we have the smoked one we have uh, the one we call the filleting and so on and so forth but the one i'll be talking about today is your smoked catfish if you have not really understand how resourceful how profiting small catfish is make sure that you get my ebook on how to start a successful small catch small catfish business make sure that you order for a copy of that book now this will tell you how to smoke your fish how to process your fish from that uh, ebook that i have and made mention of that if you are tapping into most value chain in cartridge farming sometimes you don't need to have a farm for example if you are tapping into leveraging on cartridge farming you don't need to have a farm and you are going to make a cool cash these market women that are coming to buy fishes from farmers they are also a farmers but they are into other value chains of cartridge farming and they are making a lot of money from cartridge farming without having a farm i'm setting this out for you as an example so that you can really understand the point i'm driving at also if you have a small catfish if you want to start a processing a small processing business in cartridge farming you don't need to have a farm so what you can do is that you can uh, buy go get a fish from the farmers that are doing uh, melange that means three month fishes which is uh, most common for small catfish uh, business so then you can go to a farm like what you see on this video this farm has a small catfish but as you can see there's no fish inside so you can go to them utilize their small cat their smoking kin and this can be charged for ranges from 100 to 200 naira to dry a kilo of catfish and you can from them start this processing business without you having a farm or stressing yourself i'll break it down for you in a little bit i have a client once that called me that he has just 30,000 naira to start a fish business he said my boss is there any other way that i can start small cartridge business with 330,000 naira i said yes but he told me that he has uh, consulted a lot of people online lot of farmers around him and they said there's no way he can start a cold small catfish with thirty thousand naira. so the only advice i gave her then is she's in abuja and i'm in lagos so i advise her to get to use the ten percent of that is thirty thousand naira to get my ebook that i titled how to be successful 
in cocoa in catfish uh, in small catfish business immediately she got the book she read the book to the understanding and she started the business but immediately she finished reading the book she understand my point of view my point of view is that you don't need to have a farm to start up a cartridge business so what it she did is that she uses fifteen thousand dollars out of his money to go get fishes from farmers that are operating three month fishes that means they may launch fishes goes to a farm that have a smoking that is they are not using smoke that fish pack it into a nylon and start selling it so with this she started as i'm talking to you presently the demand she has she cannot meet a demand the good thing about smoke out fish is that this is the business that you can turn around based on your marketing or negotiating skill you can make nothing less than 150 to 200 percent profit it's highly lucrative if you can really understand it so let me give you an example let me just break down this example before i go tonight like you have a fishes a small catfish for maybe you buy a kilo for uh, 900 naira as it's sold now and you smoked for uh you smoke it for 100 to 150 naira you get a nylon that means 200 naira so that means your cost have already run to like uh, 1000 100 naira and the logistics and co you added 100, 100 naira it has drawn to 1200 naira by the time you finish smoking these fishes you can't sell it for 2000 naira upward because of the cost of fish now some people do sell it for 2500 naira so depend on your negotiating power with this you can start making a very good return for yourself so by the time you break down this analysis, you will see how profiting small catfish business is. So in order to answer my questions, uh, small catfish business is highly and very, very profitable. So make sure that you get a copy of this book that you are seeing on the screen now. If you really want to know all what you need to start a small catfish business, how to go about the processing how to manage it how to calculate your cost how to really understand your business plan or cook on a small cartridge business all that you get in this my book on the screen so thank you once again my name still may be on the DTM, your uncle or cartridge solution please an academy and uh, don't forget make sure that you subscribe to this uh, youtube channel now and uh, make sure that you click on the notification button as you are watching uh, make sure that you press on the thumbs up button that means the like button and uh, if you think uh, you needed some uh, adjustment on this my video make sure that you press on the thumbs down button is an encouraging button so that we can really know that we need to add one or two things to the video to make it perfect so make sure that you click on that now too as well so make sure that you watch my next video but for you to really get the, all the clips of my next video you need to press on the notification button press on the notification button now so that you can be the first to watch my next uh, video once again today is the 13th of november 2021 i am here present at abia Kuta in order to consult and mentor. Thank you and God bless you.